Welcome back to my channel, Delightful underscore Dawn. Here I am, Dawn, and today we're going to do a um, quick review or introduction, first impression of the Patrick Star Liquid Poppers, as well as announce the winner of the giveaway for the Patrick Star Palette and the eyeliner. With that being said, go ahead and like this video, comment below as the video progress, follow me on all social media platforms that is Delightful underscore Dawn. Again, Delightful underscore Dawn. Let's get into it. So this video is basically sponsored by my best friend. Shout out to my friend Lizzie. She was a person that had some Sephora points with some Sephora bucks and decided to um, donate those bucks for me to get three eyeshadow poppers. She's a trooper. I got three eyeshadow poppers from the One Star Beauty. And the poppers that I got were, I'm going to show y'all, was the, um, the Sparkle Vision the last market question was the pea house also got the let's pump and everything and more I also got like some little products that they had like for free but i don't know where they are right now <laughs> i don't i don't know what i did with them but yeah we were going to talk about the giveaway first let you know who won the giveaway then we're going on with the poppers so i'm gonna show you the video of me picking the winner this is officially the first giveaway shout out to the, the three people <laughs> I appreciate you very much. I'm going to spin the wheel. We have Trendy Tips. We have, oh, I can't see the name, Stephanie, and then Scott. So it's going to spin. I guess the design. Oh, Trendy Tips! You have won the giveaway. So meet me in the inboxes, love. So as you can see, Trendy Tips had won the giveaway. We didn't have a lot of people that entered. A lot of people watched it, but didn't enter. I do appreciate the ones that did enter. I really do appreciate you. Hopefully the next giveaway, you also have the opportunity to win something that, you know, I'm probably like a gift card next time. I feel like that's a little bit easier virtually. That way you can just get the gift card without me having to like send it out. But yeah, congratulations to the winner. Let's get on to swatching some of these eyeshadows. All right, so let's go into the shadows. Got you up a little closer. First, we have P House. Then we have Let's Pump. And then for the last one I have in my hand is Everything and More. So P House, Let's Pump, Everything and More. This is how it looks on a melanin skin. I think it's pretty, it's really pretty. Um, for me, I'm gonna go over, cause I kinda like swatched these when I first got them. Cause I was like trying to figure out like, what was the, what was T? What was T on the shadows? The ones, the shadow that I have on my eye today is actually the P House. P House is my favorite. Like P House, P House is my favorite so far from the poppers of three that I was able to snag. And only because I like like that pinky sparkly type of like really, um, Kind of like champagne. Pea House is like a champagne. And then when you have the, um, what is this one? Let's Pump. Let's Pump has a green undertone, as you can see, very like, and it's also nice and shimmery. And then the Everything and More, that is like a true pink light glitter. The Everything and More was the lightest formula to me. One of the, to me, it was very, very light. Those are it right there. It doesn't really have a smell once it dries. The smell when it comes out the actual package, it, it's like a light, it smells like any other like eyeshadow type of glitter. It's like a light, a light like chemical smell. To me, it was, I was trying to explain to my friend, it reminded me of a polish, but not polish. Like don't think, oh, I should like polish on my eyes, but kind of like a light, like a light aroma, like you can tell like chemicals because I mean obviously it's makeup. The chemicals was used in order to formulate it. This is how the packaging looked. Very cute. I was expecting it to be larger. My friend was like, don't say that. I'm like, well, I was. Like, if anything, I was expecting it to be bigger than what it was. It's 0 0.14 fluid ounces were 0 0.14 fluid ounces for each one. These are all three of them in your face. Very cute for like if you want to like put them up in your makeup area. Very unique packaging, very glamorous like. I do think, I have tried Stila, um, Stila products before, which is what they were comparing the one size poppers to. 
And I will say, it is giving Stila a run for the money. I still really like Stila. I haven't purchased a product from them in about two years only because I just haven't had a chance to go in to like get anything. I have let these dry. Let's see about the whole, you know, rubbing. See how, is it long lasting? So we're going to get it all. There we go. I have rubbed them. And y'all see my finger? Nothing. Like, they're going to stay. Like, once you put this on, let it sit, it's staying. Like, I'm going to have to probably spray some of the one size mist on it just to kind of break it down and then wipe it off. But Loki, I did a good job in, like, making swatches. Do you, you think so? I think so. I just did, like, one swoop. I didn't really want to do it on camera because last time I did that with the other ones, it took four ever. And I didn't have time to do it today. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not this week. But yeah, I really do like the product. Would I buy more? I do think I want to buy the, um, I'm going to show you all the pictures of the other ones. I think I might try either one or two more. I did, like that dark one. That one is kind of giving me like a vibe. I don't know if y'all like feeling it, but I was like low-key like, mmm, that is nice. So yeah, I can't wait to try the Everything and More and Let's Pump. I think Let's Pump is going to probably be my second one. Everything and More probably be the, the last one I try out. I really do like the Pea House. I am a very champagne type of eye look type of person so i really did enjoy these poppers so yeah i think for the most part for someone like is it worth it compare comparing to the, the high-end makeup i do think it is worth purchasing if you were to go out and get steel of their products i believe it's 25 for each popper and this one is 22 you Stila does have more eyeshadow popper styles is that like i don't know if that's the word for it. just more options so maybe if you didn't see something in this collection most likely you'll find something that was stila um in regards to like if you're like starting out you just want some something on the eye you can most definitely check out i think i have a video i'm gonna put it somewhere up here where i purchased some from milani and those are popping too and those are only like $8. So $8 versus $22. Of course, I would say go to the $8 if you're just starting. I just want a little, little, little pop and shine and kind of build it up. But I really do I really do enjoy this one only because I know that it's not going to rip off with that Milani. It does kind of like transfer. But I do think it is a good starting out type of product. So yeah. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. If there's anything else that you'd like me to try on this channel, go ahead and let me know. Tell me if you enjoyed the giveaway. And congratulate the winner. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to my channel, follow me on all social media platforms. Again, it is delightful underscore Dawn. Until next time, stay unapologetically you and all that you do. Peace, love, and hair grease, everybody.